Hey guys, my name is Lewis with premiumbeat.com and today we're going to look at a really exciting feature added in Resolve 15 and that's the ADR tool. In Resolve 14, we were treated with the Fairlight page, a dedicated page with professional audio tools. Now Blackmagic said that the Fairlight page was not complete and we would see updates and new tools as we go along. Arguably, the ADR tool has been the most exciting feature we've seen so far. So let's have a look at the new tool and how you can start your own ADR session. Using the ADR function isn't that hard, but it does require some configuration. And I think that's the part where some users may trip over themselves. This is the standard UI layout for the Fairlight page. But before we start, we're gonna open the meters so we can see our video footage, which is integral to the process. You can adjust the meters panel to increase the size of the preview monitor, or by clicking the pop-up button here, we can have a floating monitor which can be increased to any size. Hitting escape on your keyboard will quickly return the preview monitor to its docked position. With that sorted, let's open the ADR panel, which, you guessed it, is opened by clicking the ADR button. Genius, really. In the ADR panel, we have three sub-panels, list, record, and setter. For me, in the way of efficiency, I would have preferred to see it in the order of setup, list, and record, as that's the way you work your way through the menus until you're ready to start. With that, we need to head to the setup panel to configure our ADR session. First, we have our record and playback setup. Here, we will configure the recording track and similar properties. So as we scroll down, before we set the pre-roll or countdown settings, let's first look at what needs to be replaced in the timeline. As we can see here, I have a few clips which have been marked. And I've been told that these require dialogue replacement. That is on track two, aptly named Man. So I'm going to change the guide track to Man. This is the track that the talent will hear as a reference to their recording. I've slightly cheated and I've already created a recording track as it takes far too long to move a track up on Resolve as there is no shortcut. Please include that black magic. Therefore, I'm going to choose my recording track as ADR. Alternatively, you could also use the track that has the old audio as a recording track and the senior sound will automatically be overridden. But you could find yourself with a few hurdles to jump over by choosing this method. Now that I've chosen a recording track, I have to choose the recording source. Let's step back and have a look at the pre and post roll options. Yeah, by default, it's at three, but adding seconds into this dialog box will specify how many seconds to play before and after the marked range in your timeline. So for example, I'm going to keep my pre-roll to be three seconds. This will give myself and the talent a three second preparation before the marked endpoint. The post-roll is, of course, for the end of the marked selection. At the bottom of the setup panel, we then have a set of options which will assist the talent, such as a beep at the endpoint, or we can have a countdown timer which displays an on-screen timer you could also even pair the timer with a video streamer. There are several variations of what you could do here and I think ultimately it's going to be what you find most efficient and more importantly what the talent finds easier to work with. The final parameter to configure on this panel is the character setup. If you're working with just one actor, perhaps there's little need to use it. But if you have multiple audio clips to replace with several actors, then you can add the character names to make the process more comfortable in the list panel. With the setup configured, we can now jump back to the list panel to enter the dialogue that needs to be replaced. But first, we need to mark the audio clip that we want to replace. As with the edit page, you use I to mark in and O to mark out. With that done, we can now hit new cue and write our dialogue in the dialog box along with selecting which character the line is for. So I've benefited you here by skipping ahead 10 minutes into my workflow. And you can now see that the list panel is filled with different cues. And you'll find that if you select a cue, you'll be able to skip directly to that point in the timeline. And if by any chance you have accidentally seen that the mark in isn't exactly where you need it to be, you can adjust the time in the time box here. With all that complete, it's finally time to head to the record panel. The record panel, as you might have expected, is quite self-explanatory once you've gone through the other two panels. You select the cue, the playhead will jump to that position and you hit record. Your countdown, or whatever function you have selected, will display on the preview monitor and the dialogue replacement from the actor will be recorded onto your record track. That's it, the 101. But we do have a few things to look at on this panel. One of them is hidden, so we have to extend the ADR panel. And when you have done so, you can see that we have a handy checkbox to mark for when the queue has been completed. So for the time being, you can put away your notepad and pen. We also have this button next to play, and that is a rehearse button. It makes Resolve act precisely as it would if recording. 
but without recording. And this will give your actor a chance to warm up, see how the pre-roll operates and to make some initial changes if needed. The keep playing and keep recording buttons are pretty obvious, but in the case that they are not, the keep playing function will keep the audio track playing after the take is completed, and the keep recording function will continue recording the dialogue replacement after the marked out point until you hit stop. We then also have a record early in function. If your talent likes to build up to the moment, perhaps say their words before the needed line, you can turn this on and Resolve will also record during the pre-roll. The final element of the record panel, and perhaps the coolest, is after several takes of the recording, you can rate each take with stars to compare which one was the best. This is the ADR panel. It's a pretty cool feature to have included in the Fairlight page, and I'm looking forward to see what's next. For more filmmaking tips posted each day, be sure to head to premiumbeat.com forward slash blog. And of course, the music here throughout the tutorial can be licensed at premiumbeat.com. Until next time.